Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a general reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the North Node. Libra, this is the last day of your season, so I figured I would do a couple videos to see what are the messages for you. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the North Node, and yeah, thank you for the support, the likes, the subscribes, and for those of you who are on my Patreon, I truly appreciate that, and we're going to get started. Okay, so Libra, your first card is the Emperor, Red Jasper, which makes perfect sense. Red Jasper is a Libra stone that is connected to Libra. I make empower choices. I feel like you're definitely either dealing with an Emperor, Aries, Taurus vibe, or you are becoming this Emperor. I feel like the Red Jasper, even here, it looks like it's on his forehead, on his crown. So I feel like you have a crown chakra activation of some sort. You're taking back your power. There's some type of... Um, leadership role that you will be experiencing. The time is now. Even here, I feel like you have some type of intuitive knowing, some knowledge. You're protecting yourself as well as I'm seeing sage. So you might, you guys might be cleansing your space. You have energy to realize that you need to realize your goals. So you have a plan here and garnet. Lots of like um, root chakra energy. You are very grounded here, Libra, with the three of wands the time is now in the hierophant yes i feel like you have some type of epiphany you guys could be waking up at three in the morning or you're seeing three 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 but there's something here about healing your energy and your space you have a lot of intuitive knowledge you're ready to love and learn i feel like you're sharing some type of information you could be a leader of some sort where people look up to you you have some type of like you're seeing the truth about something. You're having a dream, a vision with the King of Swords. You have a strong activation of your crown chakra here. You could be dealing with a Gemini. But I feel like you are standing your ground. You are really connected to your higher self. With the Queen of Wands, very spiritual, very witchy, very vibrant, very mystical. This energy of love and light, it's just like pouring through you. Some of you guys are energy healers. Um, you have some wisdom that is being given to you. You're very creative as well as connecting to... Your heart space is what I'm hearing. You're very vocal and you're expressing yourself and it's like you're going through an activation of all of your senses, but I'm also seeing, yeah, two, 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 things are being balanced with the queen of wands. You're going through a glow up. You're very confident. People are noticing that. You have this strong energy. You might have Aries rising or Taurus rising because the emperor was the first card, but I feel like you're stepping into your power with the seven of wands. Yeah, you have a, you have balanced all of your chakras with the seven of wands and garnet. You you're doing some grounding root work is what I'm hearing. And it's actually helping you to step into your power. You're going through a glow up. You look very beautiful. You're very attractive. With a strength card, you could have a Leo who's interested in you. But I do see that you are cleansing yourself. Strong um, crown chakra activation. Third eye awakening or opening for some of you. It's like you are stepping into your power. If you're already gifted, you're going through a level up for sure. And then I can deal with whatever comes my way. Yeah, you're definitely strong in this energy you could also have someone who is seeing this with the king of cups you have someone who's interested in you and is someone that maybe you manifested a libra you're manifesting love strength the time is now to create the type of abundance and happiness that you seek with the sun strong leo you could have a leo at a distance who misses you and sees your you as like wifey material or they see the abundance with you it could also mean that you have self-love i do feel people are attracted to you though three 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 because I see this masculine looking at you, very beautiful, very abundant with the sun card. You are happy. This is going to lead to a lot of happiness. Peaceful tranquility is what I'm getting with the nine of cups and aquamarine. You are releasing some type of emotions, but that's allowing you to heal. You're claiming back your energy with the nine of cups, feeling very much in this energy of happiness. With the hangman reverse, I feel like you're not stuck anymore. Even here, it looks like he's levitating or rising up. You're going through a spiritual ascension of some sort and you feel very good i feel i'm hearing it feels amazing yeah with the star card you are healing the age of aquarius we're in that energy now you're healing yourself you're pouring that energy back into you you are no longer feeling stuck you're ready to get out there with the full card you have a new chapter a new beginning in your life you are guided and protected in your life journey and i feel like you are definitely taking that time to focus on yourself with the four of swords you are healing you're in a really peaceful energy libra i feel like you're just excited for what's coming you have the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles you might be seeing nine 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 i feel like this is a time for you to focus on you and you're definitely doing that you have a lot of abundance and stability with the seven of swords you take great care of what you need i feel like you are not dealing with people who are 
flying in and out like even this looks like really childish energy so if there's someone that was back and forth in your life gemini libra aquarius or just someone who was not always there for you i feel like you're letting this person go you're open to good news you're open to meeting new people this person could have been shy or held back from telling you the truth 505 i'm hearing you got tired of that yeah you're gonna leave this person out in the cold five of cups you don't want to deal with anyone who is insufficient is what i'm hearing or doesn't have that level of maturity that you seek right libras are very strong personalities they want to have balance they're very loving and kind but they also don't deal with any bs so you're moving forward with the six of wands aries leo sagittarius energy here you're leaving someone out in the cold with the ten of swords yeah you're ending a situation you're ending anything that is not helping your growth anything that's stagnant you're moving on with the ten of cups you could have manifested something on the ten ten portal is what i'm seeing but with the ten of cups as your final card you have a lot of love and support from your family and your friends and all you wish for in your relationship you have everything that you need you are spiritually abundant you're finding your soul tribe your family you're letting go of people who do not serve you or situations that are not for you five 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 significant changes are coming your way libra you have a beautiful new beginning i feel like with scorpio season right around the corner there's nothing but new beginnings and positive blessings coming your way that's what i have for you libra i do see love on the horizon i'm going to do another spread in another video just because there is different situations for different libras because we are collective right this is a collective reading so this is what i have for this video i send you many blessings and that's what i have for you bye guys